John, jump off that cliff to show everybody at home how deep it is. <laughs> Do it <that> again. <laughs> this is one of our potential hunting spots. Just throw a rock down so we can figure out how deep it is. Yeah. Oh, it's still going down. Down. Oh my gosh. Somebody stop us. No survival, you fall. You know, that is, what, what would you say, about 70 feet? At least. Yeah. Don't get too close. <laughs> you see? <laughs> now, you see when you got a point at it. <laughs> Tell you what, whoever set up right here on this tree had balls the size of church bells. Patrick killed him a 10 pointer. I was, you know, I, I was debating him, but I knew he was a little bit short on the sprout time. And I thought, you know, the guy moved the scene in across. I thought if he jumped that 10, he jumped that 10. And, uh, He's big bodied there. Oh, he is. Go over and hold him up. I've been weed eating. <laughs> Boy, he sticks up. Would John be pissed? Look at that. He's a beautiful hill country buck. He is pretty as he can be, Patrick. Fantastic. Did uh, you couldn't get much better hill Did you show Leon? No, they ain't seen it yet. I was hoping y'all. Somebody would get here. Look at that big old buck. Well, we had a feeling it was you. And we thought maybe it had been Leon or somebody else shot earlier. Where'd he come out, Pat? Richard, they came to my left. They were on our place. And uh, as soon as the feeder came in, the does beat him in. There was nine does that came in before the bucks ever did. And as soon as the feeder went off, it was probably two minutes, here comes all the does back. And they, they, he came in from the left, and then the two bucks came in, the seven point came in first, and he was behind it. And the, the sun was so bad, though, I, I couldn't tell anything. And finally, I get the binoculars, and I'm putting the binoculars underneath my cap and ducking down. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I'm count I counted the little one first, and I thought the other one's better. And uh, I go, there's four on the right side. Could this be a ten? <laughs> and sure enough, it was. <laughs> right. Oh, he's pretty, Patrick. Look. Big ten-point trophy, Kimball County buck. That's your best buck ever. You know, it's rack. Uncle Cutter would enjoy this one. He, he reminds me of Sherman's deer that he shot. He so sure does. Is, is that what you were thinking? Uh huh. He's got the same type of rack, but he. Good luck. That's a good one. <laughs> Patrick, I'm proud of you, buddy. We we was I heard that shot and I said that could have been old Patrick. I really believed it was going to happen this morning. I, re I, d I dreamed about shooting a deer last night. Did I you really? Done that. It came true. Good 10 pointer. Pretty little old face on him. Look at that. Good boy. Good boy. Well, I tell you what. What a rack. His tail still red. Mm hmm. So this is what we don't get enough film of is the camp life. Hey Jim, what would Cooter say? What would Cooter say? Huh? So, Cooter would say, look at those things. Look at those big old... Look at those big old balls. Stephen Gifford, play with him.
I thought Stephen had the hair rubbed off him by now. <laughs> That's a nice buck, Patrick. Now, if you grab staff three, you ought to kill his twin. That'd be hard. Now, that'd be something to never accomplish. Oh, no. Young Steven has done it to us. He got him a trophy buck. Look at this, people. What do you think, bud? I think I wouldn't have wanted to waste a tag on the first weekend any other way. I believe you have figured out what a big buck looks like now, though. He sure has. I think I know what to shoot. <laughs> big eight-pointer. Couldn't be happier. Big body. Look at the body on him. And yes, he did get this out of Uncle Richard's stand. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't be happier. Oh. Tilt his nose up towards us. Look at that up there. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Good. Dude. I, I felt like I was on a video tonight. I love the way those brow tines hook down. I know, I like that. Patrick, what do we have hanging there? We have two beasts. Two of the elusive whitetails that weren't too elusive today. Nope, they loosed right into a couple of bullets, didn't they? These deer run pretty good when it's 80 degrees. <laughs> yeah, I hate this hot weather deer hunting, don't y'all? It done pretty good today, though. It's amazing. Spread on that eight pointer. Look at that, y'all, 19 inches. 126 pounds. Not bad for a Kimball County Hill Country Whitetail. Not bad at all. I was missing this thing this morning. Really? Uh, my face got so cold. I had to pull my toboggan down for a second. <laughs> I got cold. Did you really? <laughs> Let me get my camera. Hi, Christy. You're on candid camera. Sydney. Say hi. Say hi for the camera. <laughs> Got a little heater on. Inside the camper. It's a beautiful thing. Two hundred and fifty-three yards from the truck. I went into road rage. G to bite. There's my two compadres. That's good fire. I don't know, John, what happened to that doe? Was that road rage? 
Richard just got up. He was madder than heck. I don't know what he's mad at. And he just <laughs> shot that doe. <laughs> we were telling it to run. Run, doe, run. <laughs> it was too late. He put the Blair Rich on it. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. What a shot. And here we have the successful conclusion of the feeder midday stalk and kill which we have successfully filmed for you with our running wild 99 cameras there he is the man that strikes fear into the heart of deer everywhere got two big rubs right there we have numerous piles of feces right there i just put this feeder out two weeks ago Yeah. Now it's a good one. There's another one. Oh, there's a bigger one. Oh, shit. Shoot it. Well, that second one is here. I know. <laughs> Richie's got him a deer down. She'll do. Well, heck yeah. Good shot. <laughs> you are my hero. Well, that other one was a big one. She was huge. Listen, here's... Not as big as yours, but she's better deer. She's a lot healthier looking. Yeah. I tell you what, she keeps getting bigger too. You, uh, yours? Yours. Oh, for say. Mine really <laughs> makes it look big. <laughs> yeah, that's why mine looks bigger, John. <laughs> this is Richards. <laughs> mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> but you did make a good shot. Yeah. Oh. What do you think, Dad? Uh, they sure do got thin necks, though, don't they? I think I'm going on in. All right. In you need that clock? Huh? You I need... won't need your clock, John. Yeah, I, wanted... I got it right in there. Okay, I'll take it with me. <laughs> if it's bad in the morning, I'm, 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 if it's rain, I won't. Y'all been getting up in the mornings okay? Mm -hmm. I can run down here. and I, That's what I did with John. <laughs> he, he probably didn't tell you, but every morning I had to come make sure he was up. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't tell me that at all. <laughs> <laughs> right, buddy? You did, thank you. But 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 he made it. Every morning I got here, there was lights on. <laughs> you know you, you you know what happened to you know what happened to me morning morning before last. What's that? I was laying there in bed and if I don't come you out, know usually you a lot of times yeah, I won't hear the clock. <laughs> Kathy will give me an hey, elbow. Yeah. Bad, I, I, I was laying there and yeah. I don't know whether she was dreaming or what. <laughs> yeah. I'll probably and she elbowed me. Time to get up. So I got up, got my clothes together, stumbled in there, turned the coffee pot on, went to the bathroom, and uh -huh. took my little traditional in there, uh -huh. got up, and I walked back to get my socks. And she said, what are you doing? I said, I'm getting up to go hunting. She said, well, it's 3 o'clock. 
I was already half dressed. <laughs> I hate it when I do that. Yeah, uh. But what she's done, she just punched me in her sleep. <laughs>